scalable computing over the internet. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to elucidate the scalable computing over the internet. Illustrate the age of computing. Over the past 30 years, there has been several evolutionary changes in parallel, distributed and cloud computing. In parallel computers, the high performance and high throughput computing systems appeared as clusters, service oriented architecture, internet clouds, peer to peer networks, and Internet of Things. These systems were differentiated based on their operating system platforms, hardware architectures, and the protocols used for communicating. In this lesson, let us learn about scalable computing over the internet in detail. Let us now learn what is scalable computing. The more powerful computing capabilities are adapted by the scalable computing and the scalability is also desirable in the quality of network, process and website. The computing technology has undergone a series of platform and environmental changes over the past 60 years. There have also been evolutionary changes in the machine architecture, operating system platform, network connectivity and the application workload. One of those evolutions is replacing a centralized computer with multiple computers to solve large-scale problems over the internet in parallel and distributed computing system. This way, the distributed computing has become data intensive and network centric. Let us now learn about the age of internet computing. Billions of people use internet in day to day life. As a result, supercomputer sites and large data centers started providing high performance computing services concurrently to huge number of internet users. Because of this huge demand, LINPAC benchmark which is used to measure the floating point rate of execution of a computer for high performance became no longer optimal for measuring the system performance. Also, the emergence of computing clouds demanded HTC that is high throughput computing system which was built with the parallel and distributed computing technologies. Data centers are upgraded using fast servers, storage systems and high bandwidth networks and the aim is to advance network based computing and web services with the emerging new technologies. The successive generations overlapped about 10 years from 1950 to 1970. A handful of mainframes including the IBM 360 and CDC 6400 that is, Control Data Corporation were built to satisfy the demands of large businesses and government organizations. From 1960 to 1980, lower cost mini computers such as DCPDP 11, that is, Programmed Data Processor and WAC series became popular among small businesses and university campuses. From 1970 to 1990, Personal computers were built with VLSI, that is, very large scale integration microprocessors. From 1980 to 2000, portable computers and pervasive devices appeared in both wired and wireless applications. Since 1990, the use of HPC, that is, high performance computing, and HTC, that is, high throughput computing systems, have been hidden in clusters, grids or internet clouds. The evolution of HPC and HTC systems are illustrated as shown. On the HPC side, the supercomputers are being gradually replaced by the clusters of cooperative computers out of a desire to share the computing resources. The cluster is a collection of homogeneous compute nodes that are physically connected close to one another. Peer-to-peer -peer networks on the HTC side are formed for distributed file sharing, 
and content delivery applications. A peer-to-peer -peer system is built over many client machines and is globally distributed. HPC, that is, High Performance Computing HPC systems emphasized on the raw speed performance for many years. The speed of HPC systems has increased from G-flops, that is, Gigaflops, to P-flops, that is, Peta-flops, from the year 1990s to 2010. This improvement was driven mainly based on the demands from the scientific engineering and manufacturing communities. For example, in the LINPAC benchmark results, the speed of the top 500 computer systems was measured through floating point speed. Nowadays, the most users prefer desktop computers or large servers for conducting internet searches and market-driven computing tasks. HTC, that is, High Throughput Computing There was a strategic change from HPC to HTC paradigm in the development of market-oriented high-end computing systems. The HTC paradigm pays more attention towards high-flux computing. The main application of high-flux computing is the web services and the internet searches can be simultaneously used by the users. The performance goal measures the high throughput or the number of tasks completed per unit time. The HTC technology not only improved in terms of batch processing speed, but also addressed the accurate problems of cost, energy savings, security and reliability at many data and enterprise computing centers. The three computing paradigms are service-oriented architecture, web 2.0 services and cloud computing. The diagram shown illustrates the introduction of SOA, that is, service-oriented architecture and web 2.0 services. The advancements in the virtualization made the growth of the Internet clouds as a new computing paradigm. The development of the IoT that is, Internet of Things, was triggered by the RFID, that is, Radio Frequency Identification, GPS, that is, Global Positioning System, and Sensor Technologies. As of now, computer networks are still in their infancy, but as they grow up and become sophisticated, we will probably see the spread of the computer utilities, which, like present electric and telephone utilities, will service individual homes and offices across the country, said Leonard Killenrock at the time of Internet introduction. The term computer was redefined by many people and in 1984, the slogan, The Network is the Computer, was initialized by John Gage of Sun Microsystems. In 2008, the data center is the computer. There are dramatic differences between developing software for millions to use as a service versus distributing software to run on their PCs, that is, personal computers, said David Patterson. Recently, Rajkumar Bhaiya of Melbourne University said, the cloud is the computer. In fact, in the future, the differences among the clusters, grids, P2P systems and cloud may be blurred. High technology community argued for several years about the precise definitions of centralized, parallel distributed and cloud computing. Centralized computing. In this paradigm, all computer resources are centralized in one physical system. These resources are fully shared and coupled tightly within one integrated OS. Even though many data centers and supercomputers are centralized systems. They are also used in parallel, distributed and cloud computing applications. Parallel computing. All processors are either tightly coupled with the centralized shared memory or loosely coupled with the distributed memory. The interprocessor communication was accomplished through a shared memory or wire message passing. A computer system 
that is capable of parallel computing is commonly known as parallel computer and the programs running in parallel computers are known as parallel programs. The process of writing parallel program is often referred as parallel programming. Distributed computing A distributed system consists of multiple independent computers which has its own private memory and communicates through a computer network. In distributed system, the exchange of information is accomplished through message passing. A computer program that runs in a distributed system is known as a distributed program and the process of writing distributed program is referred as distributed programming. Cloud Computing The resources of the Internet Cloud can be either centralized or distributed. A cloud can be built with physical or virtualized resources over large data centers and some authors consider cloud computing to be a form of utility or service computing. Since the mid-1990s, the technologies used for building P2P networks and networks of clusters are consolidated to design projects for establishing wide area infrastructures which are known as computational grids or data grids. Recently, interest developed in exploring the Internet Cloud resources for data intensive applications which resulted in service oriented computing. In the future, both HPC and HTC systems will demand for multi-core processors which will be used for handling large number of computing threads per core. Parallelism and distributed computing are emphasized in HPC and HTC systems. These two systems must also satisfy the huge demand in computing power in terms of throughput, efficiency, scalability and reliability. Efficiency the utilization rate of resources in an execution model by exploiting the massive parallelism in HPC is measured. In HTC, the efficiency is more closely related to the job throughput, storage, data access and power. Dependability The reliability and self-management from the chip to the system and application levels are measured. Even in failure conditions, it provides high throughput with the QoS, that is, quality of service assurance. Adaptation in the programming model. It is used to measure the ability to support billions of job requests and virtualized cloud resources under various workloads and service models. Flexibility in application deployment. It is used to measure the ability of distributed systems in both HPC and HTC applications. Summary Computing technology had undergone evolutionary changes in the machine architecture, operating system platform, network connectivity and the application workload. LINPAC benchmark is used to measure the floating point rate of computer execution. From 1950 to 1970, a handful of mainframes including the IPM 360 and CDC 6400, that is, Control Data Corporation were built to satisfy the demands of large businesses and government organizations.